Hi, Kristen White here at Book Expo America 2012 in New York City. We're doing a best-selling celebrity author TV. And I'm here with children's author Barbara Nick. Hi, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So you have a fun series, Bell of the Dragon. Tell us a little bit about it. Sure. Um, we started writing Bell of the Dragon in the year 2000. The character Bella is named after my grandmother. And this story was created in the summer of 1974 when I was a counselor. And I told it to my children, and they begged me to write the story. So um, a friend illustrated it, and I now have the Bella series started. So tell me a little bit about who is Bella the Dragon. Belle the Dragon is a beautiful dragon. The special thing about Belle is her gems, gems are what her scales are made of. And the children all love Bella. They slide down her tail, fly around. Um, and Bella teaches children very important stories about life. So I'd love to hear one of these stories that Bella shares with children. Well, it's really, um, the story I could tell you is our second book. Bella and the Year of the Dragon. Now, Kristen, you might know that this year... That is just a beautiful cover. I just have to stop you for a minute, and I love how bright that is. Well, thank you. This is the Year of the Dragon, 2012, a year of good luck and good fortune, and I figured the world needs a little good fortune. <laughs> so what um, we learn with Bella in here is how to overcome our fear and make our dreams come true, while at the same time we learn about the Chinese calendar and some of the tradition of celebrating the Chinese New Year. Now, I know that I'm the year of the monkey. And I'm the year of the dog. <laughs> this is really a lot of fun. So what is the journey or the adventure that Bella takes in this book? Well, in this book, Bella's afraid to fly. And more than anything, she wants to fly. Um, so grandfather tells her the story of how Cat, if you, if you remember your story of the Chinese New Year, Cat isn't in there because Cat was too afraid to cross the river in the great race. So through this story, Bella learns to overcome fears and realize her dreams. So tell me a little bit about you and your background and what prompted you to get started on this series. Well, when I was young, I started out as an English major in college. And so I've always liked books. I've been a book lover. And I think books are a great way to learn about life. Um, but for the past 30 years, I've been in the utility industry. So this was a little bit of a creative outlet, and my children wanted me to do it. And now that I'm a grandmother with um, seven grandkids, I want to leave a legacy. And so books are my way of leaving a legacy for my grandchildren. So I'm not just um, a face that nobody recognizes in those old photographs. Well, you look fabulous for having grandchildren. I would never have guessed that. But what do your young readers say? Like, what is some of the feedback you get about your Bell of the Dragon series? Okay. Well, our first Bell of the Dragon we published um, on the Apple iPad in 2010. We have over 130,000 downloads. We're four and a half star. And um, the young readers say they love Bella. They love the gems. And um, it's kind of a story that teaches children about sadness and how and hope and they respond to that in their own different words so what other messages you you teach them about sadness is there any other small piece of the story that you can share with us yes the original Bella teaches about sadness but it's really more about hope and love and um, what I hope to do through my series is teach the enduring lessons and classic stories and that all goes to the legacy I'd like to leave for my grandchildren so thank you here for being with us at Book Expo America in 2012. And we can get this on iPad and also in bookstores, correct? Correct. And you can get it on Kindle as well.